you need more filth. Of course you do. Smart confessions. I'm addicted to using my rose. It's gotten to the point where I feel like I have to use it multiple times each day. I'm always feeling spicy, but if I don't use it, I feel extremely spicy. I wish I had a boyfriend that could keep up with my spicy drive, but the dudes that I mess with, they always start complaining about me wanting too much, too often. Advice? Well, sweetie, I think from some of the stories that we've heard on here that you probably need to keep using that rose uh, and don't worry about it until someone comes along that can deal with your sex drive. Here we have a public service announcement confession. It worries me a little that everyone is so comfortable with hookup culture. Garden tools just pop in hot pockets for anybody. You don't even have to take these garden tools on dates anymore. They're just giving hot pockets out to anybody like it's candy. Nobody wants to wife that. But nobody wants to be in a faithful relationship. No one takes relationships seriously. No one wants to build together. We're only in college for a few years and should have fun. But I feel like once we all graduate, it's going to be 10 times harder getting into a serious relationship. Am I overthinking this too much? Fam you. No, I don't think you're overthinking it too much. If you have a boyfriend and you go to Albany State, I've probably let him dig out my guts. I love the men that have girlfriends. They do everything right. Fort Valley State University. That is just nasty. Just the kind of stories that we love. Our next confession comes from one of my nephews here in the Atlanta area at Clark Atlanta University. He says, me and this bi-curious boy be pounding each other's booties on the low. And sometimes I see him kiss his girlfriend. I be feeling bad because he always eating my booty like Jesus at the Last Supper. Wow. The filth. Me and this guy who I've been letting dig my guts out for around two years. We made it official last month. But I feel like he's losing interest. I keep falling for his tricks. And I want to let him go, but my heart doesn't. What the frankincense do I do? Howard University. I don't know, sweetie, what you're supposed to do, but please keep sending in these confessions because it's just so nasty. Next up. We will delve deeper into the true confessions of the lies of the individuals that are doing the nasty. A confession from WSSU. This girl stalking me just because she wants me to give her some more 
purple eggplant. We used to, you know, do the booty and I dealt their guts out. But she was normal back then. And when we stopped talking, she didn't seem like she cared that much. I don't know what made her go crazy all of a sudden. I really feel like she's over-exaggerating though because my purple eggplant is not even that big to be tripping over. Well, nephew, this is another one of those cases of sometimes you don't know what you had until it's gone. Somebody at Shaw University has got acquired immune deficiency syndrome and two sandy Miami beaches are passing around syphilis. Another beautiful sandy Miami beach was pregnant by a football player this semester at Shaw University. Wow, that is just smutty. Filthy, and we love it. I am the voice.